So today's story is going to be about how there's all these females that be claiming to be your friend and then you end up on a live for whatever reason. So we're just going to go through a couple cases of how why, where these people thought they were in company of their friends and it didn't turn out to be that, you know, type of party. They end up dying because they thought somebody was their friend. This is one of the oldest cases I'm going to talk about. So picture below is Vanessa Honey Malone and she died in Stone Mountain, Georgia in October of 2020, 2012. It's one of the oldest cases. She went to her friend's apartment after she got off of work at night and you know she ended up dead. They said it was a home invasion but the people inside wasn't hurt and they were all older than her. She was the youngest one there. She was only 18 years old when this happened to her and you know she thought that the people inside were her friends. And come to find out that one of the people that claimed that they were tied up in the bathroom while there's a, this supposed robbery that was taking place, place, he was later charged with malice murder in connection to her murder. So, Vanessa was shot to death in that apartment. She was the only person shot. So, you know, her family definitely feels like the people inside the apartment was involved. Nobody's ever made contact with her family to try to explain what happened. And then, you know, they finally made that arrest. So they're still waiting on a trial for that one. But this just goes to show that everybody isn't your friend. You know, like I'm pretty sure she thought she was in the company of her friends, but it didn't turn out like that for her. And this is a case I remember because her parents were just so heartbreak broken. This is, ha happened in 2012 as well. This is Skylar Niece. You might remember her, but her and her best friends, they snuck out at night. And luckily there it was caught on tape when she left, but... Um, she snuck out with her friends and the friends had already planned on killing her that night. They picked her up, you know, she didn't tell her parents where she was going and they end up stabbing her in the, in the woods and they just left her there. And the police eventually ended up, well, one of the girls ended up kind of cracking because she was under pressure. The police were questioning them constantly as to what happened. And then they, then they picked up a surveillance camera off of like one of the, um, lights that it showed this girl's car in near this um Skylar's house so they knew that Skylar had went with her with went with them but both of her killers were convicted and they're in jail um they have like life sentences or something but yeah again she thought that these girls were her friend and they were just going to go enjoy ride in the night and they had already planned to kill her the next story is Kanika Jenkins she went out with some friends and she went to a hotel party and ended up dying from hypothermia and she ended up in a freezer inside the hotel in one of the floors that you know wasn't being occupied and they found her the next day but you know everybody was just so con like so upset with this case is because you came with this girl you should leave with your friend if you go to a party with your friend the next is Talia Lowe she died in Lake Michigan her family say she couldn't swim and she would have never got into that lake so they there's some suspicion you know that the, the family thinks is suspicious because I know I can't swim and I know I'm not getting in no damn Lake Michigan. So, you know, that's kind of what the parents are saying. Like, she wouldn't have done this. Like, you know, people who can't swim, we're not about to get into a body of water. But she was with her so-called friends and they say she got in there and drowned and they couldn't help her. So that this is another case where, you know, she thought she was with friends and her family thinks that there is some some suspicious going on her her death was ruled an accident but her family's not buying that because again she couldn't swim and she wouldn't get in a lake knowing she couldn't swim like who would do that so yeah but here's just another case so you know you can add this to your book if you really think these people will be your friend because they don't if you are if you think that someone's not your friend you need to go with that first mindset and stay away from this person Mary Collins is another person who she, you know, she thought she had a friend and basically her friend wanted her to have a threesome with her partner and she refused and they stabbed her over 133 times and just let her bleed out and, you know, she died, unfortunately. It's just sad that so there's so many of these cases where a person thinks somebody is their friend and they betray them. And a betrayal death is just so, you know, such a harsh death because the person who passed away, they had no clue that this was going to happen to them because they thought they were in good company. The last story I'm going to do is for Mahogany Jackson. She recently died at the, at the hands of these friends. She went to hang out with some friends and she ended up dying in a horrific manner. And 
it's just sad, you know what I mean? Her family, they have to go through this trial. They got to hear what happened to her. It's honestly disgusting what her so-called friends did to her. So just keep these cases in mind, ladies and, so, and gentlemen. If you're trying to go hang out with friends and they seem a little sketchy or they seem like they, you know, aren't, they may have an issue with you, just don't go over there. And then also um, Mahogany's case and Honey's case or Vanessa Malone's case, they both were younger than the people who did this to them. So, you know, keep that in mind too. You you may end up being a victim because you're, you know, you're younger than the people you're hanging out with. But y'all drop a comment on what you think about these cases. Peace out and stay safe.